Hi guys, this is Pete and uh, welcome to another episode of PC Repairs for Dummies. Now I haven't shot one in a little while, but guys, uh, check this out over here. This is a brand new one I haven't seen before. I have seen the, uh, the Ucash uh, scams before, but this is, a, um, this is called Ransomware. And uh, this, is, uh, this computer, this customer's computer is blocked, uh, supposedly by the Australian Federal Police. And uh, the PC is blocked due to at least one of the reasons specified below. And uh, it goes through a whole list of reasons here why the machine has been blocked. So uh, you can't get past this page. This page is, uh, comes up on startup. But conveniently, you can pay a fine of uh, $100 to have your computer unblocked. There you go. The amount of the fine is uh, 100 Australian dollars. You can pay the fine using Ucash and you can conveniently pay it right there. <laughs> now this is a pretty good one. Um, this one, uh, as far as I can see so far, as I said, this is the first time I've seen this particular virus. And uh, like I said, it's called ransomware. And uh, this one has to be removed manually. So uh, I'm gonna get right on it. Um, None of the normal normal virus removal process will uh, touch this. So, uh, as I said, this machine belongs to a customer. I'm going to start the machine in safe mode and I'm going to manually remove uh, all the registry entries and see how we go. I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> this should be fun. Woohoo! Australian Federal Police, look out! <laughs> so, guys, I'm just running a program that I use from time to time called Hitman Pro and uh, it seems to work reasonably well and it has uh, it has found it and uh, I believe that it's uh, the very top one there uh, but it has definitely found it so uh, after I've uh, removed it using this bit of software we're going to restart the computer and see how we go looking good it's a pretty uh, pretty nifty bit of ransomware actually it, uh, it's very very scary and looks very authentic now uh, the rogue antiviruses have been getting around for a long time um, but this one's pretty good. I'm going to uh, pick it to pieces in a minute and see how it works. <laughs> well guys, it looks like we've had a little bit of a win here. Uh, that, uh, that particular virus has been removed from this machine and uh, using Hitman Pro, so that's pretty good. I've had to go into the registry manually and just clean up a few of the registry entries, but uh, that's a little bit of a specialist job. It's not the sort of thing that you can really do yourself unless you are a little bit tech savvy. Uh, but at the end of the day, the virus is gone. Now, the great thing about this virus, and I was just having a think about it, was uh, some of the forums that I've been reading about it have said that this has been one of the most successful crime syndicate um, pieces of malware ever released. And the reason is, is that, uh, let's face it, if you're a married bloke at home, <coughs> and you, uh, you know, most guys watch a bit of porn without their wives or partners knowing about it, uh, or their kids and uh, if you're a married bloke at home and next thing this big screen comes up and you turn your computer on saying it's from the Australian Federal Police and your computer is blocked and uh, it's blocked because you've been watching porn and suspected sites and you need to click here to pay hundred dollars to have your computer unblocked a lot of people just panic and they click on the link to pay the hundred dollars through this Ucash scam and uh, they just want their computer unlocked. Now, what happens when you pay the money with your credit card? Not only does uh, your computer not get unlocked, uh, but they, they take the maximum amount uh, allowable out of your credit card account. So most people here in Australia have got $1,000 a day limit on their withdrawals. So they will take $1,000 out of your account each and every day until you pull it up. So that's why this particular scam uh, has, has been so successful because it's really playing on people's panic mode and uh, husbands not wanting their wives to think they've been looking at porn and uh, even to the point where uh, teenage kids are stealing their father's credit card because they don't want their parents to know that they've been looking at porn and uh, yee there you go. So um, guys at the end of the day these things are all scams and uh, you know uh, online shopping is fine but here's how I, how I use online shopping. I use a prepaid debit card, a Visa debit card, uh, which has only ever got a maximum of two or $300 in it at any given time. And um, 
that way that you know I use that card to do all my online shopping. It works like a credit card, but you're using your own money. Make sure you've got it set up in a separate account so that uh, if you do get done, they'll only do you for whatever money's in your account. And if you've only keep it, you know, two or three hundred dollars in that account, you're safe. But having said that, you cash scam. I really like this one. It was pretty good. I'm about to go and pull it apart now and see how it works. All right, guys. Hope uh, hope that's helped you a little bit. Hey, love is very good.